What's happening guys, I'm TaxWords. Welcome to Setup Wars episode 196, Teen Edition. That does not mean parents credit card edition. I know a lot of you guys are always commenting down below that their parents bought them the setup when that is not the case majority of the time. Just because most of us were bums as teenagers, myself including, doesn't make all teenagers bums, right? I mean, it's 2020. Nowadays, teenagers have jobs or they do side work, whether it's mowing their grandmother's lawn and they save up money and buy whatever they want. So I hope you don't get that many salty comments like, this dude's parents are definitely rich. Must be nice. Because honestly guys, those comments are getting really old. Anyways, with that said, if you guys want to participate for Setup Wars, make sure to watch the video link down below. Let the Setup Wars begin. The Dark Core RGB Pro is the newest addition to Corsair's arsenal of wireless gaming mice. Equipped with an 18,000 DPI custom PixArt optical sensor, 8 fully programmable buttons and up to 50 hours of battery life so you can clap cheeks online for days to come. The Dark Core RGB Pro also features their sub 1 millisecond slipstream wireless technology with exceptionally stable signal and ultra long range. It's so responsive you swear it's connected with a wire. To learn more, click the link below. Holy moly, Jesus ate my guacamole. Kicking off the episode, we have Adam from England and his insane double setup. We got pretty much everything covered from gaming to streaming, editing, and even schoolwork. This is basically just a massive corner desk with a couple of IKEA countertops and Alex Joris for support. So the main setup has triple 27 inch monitors mounted against the desk and the Corsair K70 MK2 special edition keyboard with the M65 Elite mouse, nice combo. And for audio, he's got a pair of Edifier Luna Clip speakers and the Corsair Virtuoso headset that's hanging from a custom 3D printed hanger that he bought from eBay. And since he uses the setup for streaming, he has a green screen setup right behind him with a blue snowball microphone hooked up on a boom arm. We definitely know two things about Adam so far. He likes Corsair and Alien vs Predator. So the main setup is being powered by his behemoth of a PC and after you hear the specs you might want to go cry in a corner considering a 16 year old has a better PC than you and me. We have the 9900K in there with 32 gigs of RAM and the EVGA RTX 2080 Ti. Damn! I love the custom backplate and the decal that he added on the reservoir along with a couple of alien figurines for that added personal touch. Now the second setup is definitely more simple. It's got a single 24 inch AKC monitor with the Corsair K95 keyboard and another M65 Elite mouse. But it's being powered by a 15 inch HP Omen laptop. If Adam had a brother or sister that uses this other setup, it would make a lot sense. But honestly, I don't see the purpose of this second one. I feel like whatever you're doing here can easily be done on the main setup. But I guess it doesn't matter at this point because you have an entire room in your home dedicated for both your setups. That is insane. I will give you props on the cable management, fantastic job keeping all the wires hidden considering you aren't even using any signum racks. An awesome setup, thank you Adam for starting off the show. Next up is Ahmad from Palestine and his simple yet beefy gaming setup. So he's rocking a 240Hz gaming monitor from Alienware with an E-Element keyboard and Razer Death Adder mouse. I do appreciate you trying to hide the cables by running it underneath the mouse pad, but now you have this noticeable bulge underneath the mouse pad. You could have just run the wires across the desk and I think it would have looked better in my opinion. For audio, Ahmad is using the DT770 Pro headphones, but since it doesn't have a mic, he does have a separate mic setup with the Blue Yeti on the left side. Ahmad doesn't have too many things on the desk. He did keep it fairly minimal with a fake plant from Ikea to give it some color and a couple of figurines. I gotta give you points for that Ryuk figurine though since Death Note is one of my favorite old time anime series. Cables look under control for the most part except that one cable that's hanging from the wall. I'm not really sure how safe that can be once the plugs start coming out of the outlet. At least use some cable clips to stick the cable against the wall or get a longer cable that way the outlet isn't dangling in the air. I think the biggest question I have about this setup is why did you go with a 240Hz monitor if this PC has an RTX 2060? Surely you aren't taking advantage of those refresh rates unless he is playing CSGO or something really light. The price gap between the PC and the monitor is interesting to say the least. Personally, I would have gone with a 165Hz monitor and used the extra money towards a better GPU, but that's just me. I think you would have gotten way more value with an RTX 2070 Super and a 165Hz monitor instead. Other than that, there isn't much else to this setup. Super clean and simple. Thank you, Ahmad, for entering. Eric is up next from Germany and his setup for just gaming. 
He took the overused, boring IKEA lemon desk and he wrapped the entire thing, even the Alex drawer, in black carbon fiber to go with the black Venom theme. I'm guessing that's why the wall is painted red as well, but why in Hades' pits are the lighting on the PC RGB? You got such a badass Venom theme going on, and then I look up and see Unicorn Vomit. Anyways, back to the setup. So Eric mounted an AOC ultrawide on the wall, and I love that even the channel raceway is skinned in carbon fiber. On the desk, we've got the Corsair K95 Pro RGB Platinum keyboard with brown switches and the ASUS ROG Spatha gaming mouse. We also got a couple of Logitech speakers, a charging stand for his iPhone, and a digital clock in the corner. Under the desk, we got a couple of channel raceways to hide the cables and a few things attached to the side of the Alex unit for easy access, like his headset, the volume control for the speakers, and what looks like a neuralizer from Men in Black. Given the slanted wall, it makes sense why he mounted his PC on the wall. It actually looks better this way in my opinion. So this is a custom water cool system with the Ryzen 5 2600 and the ASUS Strix Vega 64 graphics card. Some of the bends could be better, but overall I think it did an awesome job building this system. Good choice on the solid white liquid by the way, however I would have liked to see with the PC with red lighting. I think it would have really tied in the Venom theme a lot better, but either way, thank you Eric for entering. And number 3 is Howard from Toronto and his tiny yet effective setup. He's a software developer and this is the setup he uses for programming, schoolwork and of course gaming. The setup is built on the Prime Cable Sit and Stand Desk Frame with an IKEA tabletop. We got dual monitors, each with its own purpose. The main one is a 165Hz monitor used mainly for gaming and YouTube, while the 25-inch ultrawide position in vertical mode is used for coding. Howard kept the peripherals very simple and stuck with Logitech gear. We got the G Pro keyboard, G Fowler 2 wireless mouse with a PowerPlay mousepad. He doesn't use any speakers with the setup, so he relies on the Sennheiser HD 558s for audio, which he has hooked up to his audio DAC that's mounted behind his monitor. Also mounted behind his monitor is the microphone boom arm, which you can see through the mirror, and that's actually mounted on the monitor arm itself. Nicely done. When I first saw the Ryzen box with tissues, I giggled like a little schoolgirl. At first I thought it was a metaphor for something, like maybe he was trying to offer tissues to wipe the tears off of Intel users, but the truth is, it's a simple yet clever way of using the old Ryzen box to store his tissues. Speaking of Ryzen, take a look at this insane Mini ITX build. It's packing the 3700X, 16 gigs of RAM and the RTX 2070 Super from EVGA. He managed to squeeze all of that inside the M1 V6 case and he water cooled it. I'm really interested to see your temps in this build. If you're watching the video, please comment below what the CPU and GPU temps are on full load please. I mean there is barely any space between the radiator and the GPU and I love that you put a piece of paper in between them to give it a bit of space. But yeah, I'm really digging the setup. It's simple yet effective and it's built with purpose. Thank you Howard for entering. Speaking of simple and effective, feast your eyes on this. Jack setup from Illinois. This is actually his first setup that he built last year. But after watching setup wars, he was inspired to improve it and now he has this. A dual stack monitor setup that's used for gaming, 3D design, and homework. In our first glance, I thought he had a custom wallpaper or maybe some of those 3D panels I keep seeing everywhere, but it's actually his curtain, and I think it adds a nice backdrop to this setup. He's using a 34 inch ultrawide as the main monitor, with a 24 inch up top as an overhead. Both of them are mounted to the IKEA lawn desk with the pull out panel option, which is interesting considering he isn't really using it. It looks like he kept the desk neat and tidy with only the essentials. We got the Corsair K68 RGB keyboard with the Sabre RGB mouse. And then for audio, we got the Logitech Z313 speakers and the Corsair Void Pros underneath the desk. Other than the Elgato Stream Deck Mini and a lamp, there is really not much else on the desk. He did do his best to keep it as minimal as possible. And finally, powering the setup is a custom PC he built with the Ryzen 7 2700X and the RTX 2080. Those are some nice specs, and I like that he went with the black and blue color scheme to match the setup's theme. Very nice. Not much else to say about the setup. Pretty simple and straightforward. Thank you, Jack, for entering. And that wraps up this episode of Teen Edition. As always, you guys can vote in the comment section down below or click on the poll on the top right. If you guys enjoy the show, make sure to backhand the crap out of that like button. As always, I love your beautiful faces, and I will see you guys very soon in the next one.